welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and it is time for another What's in the Box Tuesday. You guys can see what's in the box, I can't. I love this series, I'm having so much fun doing this series, and I am so grateful that you guys are here to watch and support the channel, and subscribe, and like, and comment. Thank you so much for doing that. Thanks for being a part of the journey. Now let's get to drinking, because I'm excited. Well, I don't know if I should be. You can see it, should I be excited or not? Well, we're about to find out. So cheers to you at home. Thank you for being here. That's a hefty pour right there. That is a nice solid. Bill poured a nice hefty pour of that. That's a solid pour. It's got a decent color. Let's see if it's got any legs on it. It's got decent legs on it too. Actually it has pretty good legs. They don't really move at all. Crazy. Okay, well, here we go. Let's smell this sucker and see what we got. On the nose, this smells really familiar, but I can't. Caramel, vanilla, orange peel, a light um, milk chocolate, a slight hit of cinnamon. Right, at, right away, my initial thought is that this is a bourbon. It doesn't smell bad, so that's a good sign. It actually smells pleasant. It smells like um, baked, Bake sugar. Yeah, sugar, sweet, caramelly. Not overly rich in, in a, like flavor on the nose, but not bad. It smells good, actually. It smells good. Whew, got an itchy nose all of a sudden. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> itchy nose and hairs in my eyes. Yeah, it smells like it has a decent amount of proof on it, but we'll, I guess we'll find out when we taste it. So let's taste it. Let's get to this tasting part, because that's always the best part. Sometimes on the nose, it can smell fine, and then you taste it and you're like, what was I thinking? Or, holy moly, that's way better than I expected. So here we go. Let's do this. Well, that didn't work out very well. <laughs> I completely missed my mouth. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> wow. And cut that out. I'm just kidding, take two. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> I swear, this is seriously my first drink of the day and I am a mess. So let's try that again. <laughs> and cut, <laughs> action. Mm. That is a good taste in bourbon. Now watch it be a rye or something. No, it's a good bourbon. Decent amount of proof. <sighs> and when I say decent, I mean like, hmm, let me take one more sip of that. That's good. It's caramel, vanilla, orange peel. There's a slight cherry note in it. Like the very slightest cherry note. I like that. I definitely like it. Yeah, it's gotta be, I wanna guess like somewhere around 118 proof. But also there's a part of me that wants to say 110, so I don't know. It's good. It's a good bourbon. It's not a Heaven Hill. I think it's a Kentucky distillery. It's sweet, good flavor, a really nice finish. I like it, I would buy it. Um, yeah, I like it, I would buy it, it tastes good. Mm. I feel like I drink this one a lot. Like I really like this. I was trying to think if it had like wild turkey notes in it, but I don't think it does. It's just good. It's good, it's good, it's bourbon. Definitely don't think it's a rye. God, what if it's a rye? No, that's a bourbon. If I'm wrong, well, I'm an idiot and I should start all over again. But it's good bourbon, I like it. Good amount of proof. I would buy it, I would spend, I feel like this is like a $75 bottle. That's what I would spend on it. Okay, it's time to figure out what's in the box. It's good, it has char to it too, like a good char finish, I like that. I like it a lot. Now let's figure out what it, wait. Let's figure out what it is. Without further ado, let's figure out what's in this box. I'm always scared, I don't wanna look. Oh God, every freaking time! I. Mm -hmm. 
So, uh, so remember, okay, well, you guys can see it the whole time. So you guys remember whenever I said I should, I thought it was 110. This thing drinks a lot hotter than 110. Like my initial thought was 110, which the proof on this is 110.9. But for some reason it was drinking hotter than it actually was to me. Um, and I thought it was a Kentucky distillery, but I couldn't put my finger on it. And I didn't really get that weeded funk that I usually don't like. So I like the Maker's Mark cast strength and I don't normally like weeded bourbons and I normally don't like um, Maker's Mark at all. Normally I get a Sharpie note out of it, but this time, this time it was actually pretty good. And I, if I do like a weeded bourbon, it's generally gonna be a higher proof. And that's what this, well, this isn't a high proof. This is cast strength at 110, but I don't know. I have nothing else to say except that I said I would spend $75 on a bottle of Maker's Mark cast strength. I don't know how much this bottle is, but I'm going to guess it's cheaper than that. I would guess it's probably like $60. Tastes good. Mm. Yeah, I really don't get that weeded funk out of this that I normally get that I don't normally like. I like it. I admit it. I like it. It's good. I would buy it. I would recommend it. Cast strength. Now, the regular Maker's Mark that's not the cast strength, I don't like. But I like the Maker's 46 and I like this one. So let me know what you guys think of it. This one was good. It was enjoyable. And uh, for once I got, well, not for once, but I got proven wrong. I just, I was feeling that this was Kentucky. So I don't know. Anyhow, I'm Dara. I'm your average drinker. And Bill got me today. That was good. That was a good one. So cheers to you guys. I hope you have a good day. I'm Dara. I'll see you next time.